Hello everyone, and welcome to another video made by John M. Today I'm going to be making a video behind the scenes of modded Skyrim gameplay videos and other miscellaneous Skyrim videos and other videos that I make. Uh, there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes and one thing that I'm doing right now is I I'm using Minicam to record because I already have Bandicam set up to a different way to record and I don't want to spend uh, the time to go back and change it then shake it change it back again and uh, because I uh, said it because today is going to be a uh, behind the scenes video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... I think I was going to look at settings. No, what am I thinking about here? Uh, yeah, I think it's in settings. Or is it in effects? Yeah, okay, so audio, default, yeah. general, you can in your language. audio, There was something I was looking for. Oh, I think it's here. Ah, oh, there it is. Hmm. Oh, okay, here it is. So I changed my voice. I'm gonna stop recording for a minute just to make sure it's recording right. Okay, so I checked the, one of the things that I do sometimes, especially with any cam, just to make sure that it's working good, is I will stop recording go back and play back the video and make sure the audio isn't uh, with any noise. Um, is it too high? Is it too low? Am I getting feedback? Is there an echo? So these are the things that I check for and everything is okay with the recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other thing that I was going to do next because I already have a video of last night or maybe early morning um, yeah if everyone can remember about uh, last night or yes yeah it was uh, the appearance of a supermoon and I was able to capture this supermoon using my not so good recorder, but it did record it not in good quality like, you know, all the other high-tech stuff out there these days. Uh, so I'm going to be uploading that. That means I have to change the view. So now we have the desktop. And this is the video. And I may need to change it back, so I'm going to YouTube, getting ready to upload a video. John Legend, you and I, nobody in the world, who's that? Hmm. So anyway, I'm going to change it back because I have to sign in. 
So let me sign in. And thank you for all the subscribers. Uh, I have seven subscribers now, uh, more than I've ever had in my entire life. Thank, thank. I would like to thank everybody for subscribing. I ha I, I uh, exceeded a hundred videos uploaded so far, and I'm going to keep going as long as I can. And. Uh, So now I can go back because I signed in. Upload. I don't know if I've ever recorded while I was uploading. I don't know how. I can check the uh, computer usage is high, so it's going to be even higher when I start uploading. Yeah, for some reason when I'm recording it, it uses a lot of the computer's performance. Physical memory, not so good. It's below 50%. From all the guides that I've uh, read about, they always say to have your physical memory over 51%. But, uh, so this is the video, Supermoon, July 12, 2014, yeah, 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Five minutes, that means it should load fast. I'd say in about less than 20 minutes. So while I'm doing that, sometimes I go to other websites, especially if I'm making a Skyrim mod videos. Uh, sometimes every day, usually at the beginning of every day, I like to go to nexusmods.com. And see if there's any good new uploads. So right now I got it under most recent. But I'm going to see what's new today. See if there's anything new. There's a shield, scout blade armor. Dynamic birth signs. Prometheus. That sounds interesting. Xbox to PS3 buttons. TES Prometheus has two endorsements. 27 downloads, over 1,800 uh, views. Adds a helmet, gloves, curious, boots, ancient tempo, temple. Oh, he misspelled it, I think. Forgotten place. Xenomorph NPC. Engineer NPC. Go to the forgotten place and find the key, but beware. There are xenomorphs lurking. When you find the key, use it to open the temple to find the army in a chest. But again, beware, there are engineers. Kill the engineers and loot the chest. Female and male, the same mesh. Inspired from the works of H.R. Geiger and the movie adaptations, Alien and Prometheus. That's interesting. I, I've seen 
I believe I've seen those movies. I do remember seeing Alien. Before I went into the service, I believe. Final report of the vessel Prometheus. The ship and her entire crew are gone. If you're receiving this transmission, make no attempt to come to its point of origin. There is only death here now, and I'm leaving it behind. It is New Year's Day, the year of our Lord, 2094. My name is Elizabeth Shaw, last survivor of the Prometheus, and I am still searching. Thanks to the Bethesda, Skyrim, Nightscope, Blender, Photoshop, Creation Kit, H.R. Geiger, Predators, The Lost Tribes, Roland 113, Nexus, Creature Resource, Gend, Gend and Ro uh, I think that's how you spell it. Um, Sorry for the bad English. We were so wrong. But he missed the uh, adding in the wrong part, I guess. Well, isn't that interesting? Hmm. Interesting photograph. Inside a dungeon, and there's some kind of mob there. And I suppose it looks a little bit like the Prometheus movie. Posts. Mod looks great though. Nice work. I like the armor. Loaded by Laggery. Thinking about downloading it, probably just will. Let's see. This is a large file. Six megabytes, that ain't too bad. This is almost done uploading. And I'm gonna log in. Log in, download. Oh, wait a minute. They did change the way that um, you download now, especially if you have to log in to download. Check this out. Well, if, if you already like uh, using Skyrim mods and you already know about the change, unless you haven't downloaded anything recently. So this is what it looks like now when it downloads. Endorsements. Pre so while you're downloading, you can endorse stuff, which is nice. You can endorse more than one a day, which is good, I suppose. It's only, yeah, 5.9 megabytes. So I'm going to endorse all these because, uh, you know, if I downloaded them and I played them, I'm going to give them some credit. There's a lot of them that don't work, They're, that are not compatible with the ones that I like to use, but... Most of them were fun, and I liked them. That's why I downloaded them, so I'm going to endorse them. You know, I don't have to, but I am anyway. Craftable Dragon Priest Masks. Craftable Staves. That one didn't work with, with the ones that I like to use. 
all the time. Hidden hideouts of Skyrim, I don't remember. I remember, you know, I don't remember playing it, but but I, I endorsed it anyway. Uh, it, it helps the the guys that are trying to move up in the modding world. So I have this file now. Yeah, so this so this is uploaded. So I have to delete this. I recorded footage of the super moon event. This morning I'm not going to add too much because I'm recording right now so I'm just going to put in supermoon for my tag 2000 July July 12 2000 14 July 201 And I'm just going to use whatever automatically came up I'm going to add it to the miscellaneous videos section and I'm going to go ahead and publish it to Google Plus and Twitter and everybody can view it now publicly and usually I double check see that it uploaded. So it uploaded. I can close that out. File name. So this must be it right here. Yep. 5.9 mega megabytes. Yeah, sometimes uh, it might be a little difficult to locate the video, so I downloaded a Prometheus. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call it Prometheus with a Z, and that way I'll know. Extract it here. Let's see how I'm doing on time. So there's a BSA and an ESP. How many minutes? I've been recording 60 minutes. That's not bad. I'm going to try to keep it around 21, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah. But anyway, so we have two files. And I'm going to copy them and keep the originals. I've got to find where I were and paste it into Skyrim. Into the data. Now I'm going to paste it, right click and then paste, and they're here. So you can see that they got, they got added in. Let's 
so they got added in right here. So now it's installed and uh, if this is Windows 7 so to be sure that it installed uh, always remember to close out the window so that way it will save and uh, run the Skyrim launcher then once I uh, do this I basically I'll just start recording my bandy cam and I'll probably just uh, continue where I left off here with the, the mini cam and uh, record the footage because more than likely uh, the character is uh, that I'm going to create is not going to be on the the timeline of the timeline of the main story of where I left off with Britness. So for my personal channel, I do have one gameplay, a modded Skyrim gameplay character that I've been running through through the main storyline, and I'll have to go back and see where I left off. gonna see where I am on the time so I'm at 19 minutes I'm almost done here so that's gonna work out what the heck this thing was ringing I've never seen that before that's weird so I have 32 mods from uh, Steam not all of them are activated because they don't they're not compatible with each other and the other ones are from nexusmods.com so I'm going to be running this to make sure it's everything's up to date they're all saying that they're up to date And then I'm going to check my data file and look for Prometheus. It's probably at the bottom. Nope, not at the bottom. So I'm not sure where it is. I don't even see it here. That's weird. Earring. Handyman. Oh, okay, it's this one. It is at the bottom. New armor. So that's it right there. <laughs> it w he named it by the uh, the file name, not the actual uh, name that he has listed for the mod, I believe. I forget what, what name that he had, he had listed. I think that that ringing noise was... No? I don't know, this is weird. Oh, maybe it was the this little ad here. Hmm. So yeah, I can close this out. I can close this out.
and then run boss. Oh yeah, I have to change the settings on my ant on my antivirus because it won't let me run Skyrim. So let me try it now. I mean boss. I'm gonna wait seven seconds because that's about the the time that it takes for the the processor and all that on this computer to make a change to the settings. So now I'm using Boss to put the mod in a proper position. And I'm at 23 minutes, so that's not too bad. I think I'm just going to call this behind the scenes of modding Skyrim uh, or Skyrim modder videos part one still working and the total number of mods doesn't mean that they're all working but let's see what the total is at now 73 40 are inactive so that only leaves uh, 33 that are running. I only have 33 that are running right now that are compatible with each other. The new one, I don't know. I'm going to have to find out. But I'm going to be ending this part now, and I will see you guys in part two.